Drawing in Clip Studio Paint can be a rewarding but time-consuming endeavor. Over time, I've discovered several valuable tips that have allowed me to significantly streamline my character rendering process, reducing the time it takes to complete a piece while not only maintaining, but improving the dynamism and personality of the final drawings. It's gotten to a point where I'm so fast that I feel f***ing slow. Here are three of the many tips I used to draw better in literally half the time. All the drawings you're going to be seeing took me two hours or less most of which were completed around the 1 hour 30 minute mark. The first tip, which proved to be a game changer, involves rethinking the sketching phase. In my earlier drawings, I would often start with a rough character sketch and then somewhat inexplicably proceed to create a more detailed one on top of it. This essentially meant that I was investing time in refining a sketch twice. The question I eventually asked myself was, why not transition directly from the rough sketch to the line art stage and save my sweet ass time? The answer, it turned out, was that there was no compelling reason to maintain the redundant process. So in my new approach, I've eliminated this intermediate step, proceeding directly from the rough sketch to my bold and varied line art. The absence of that second sketch significantly sped up the process, with my character rendering taking only half the time it used to. This streamlined workflow not only saves time, but also enables me to keep the character's essence intact. Just compare how stiff the initial drawing from March 2022 is to this render I made in April 2024. The second tip revolves around embracing bolder and more varied line art. In my earlier drawings, I used lines that were timid, uniform, and lacked personality. The result was character renders that felt somewhat flat and uninspiring. However, I've since shifted my approach, opting for a more bold, expressive line art style. The difference is immediately evident. My characters are given more personality as a result. This bold line art not only adds depth and dimension, but also has the practical advantage of covering more ground more quickly. The increased boldness in my line art not only saves time, but also contributes to a more visually engaging final result. It's fascinating how something as seemingly simple as the choice of line weight and style can transform the entire feel of an artwork. The lines now interact with the colors and shapes in a more compelling manner, making the characters pop and stand out in ways that my earlier timid lines could not achieve. A third tip, which might sound unimportant but carries significant benefits, is the development of a color palette. In my previous workflow, I would frequently find myself flipping back to my character's model sheet to pick and apply consistent colors. This constant back and forth, while seemingly minor, added up to a significant amount of time lost. To tackle this issue, I created a color sheet that I could easily reference during the coloring phase. This color sheet essentially consists of a set of pre-selected colors that I frequently use in my character rendering. Having these colors readily available allowed me to streamline the color selection process. It not only sped up the coloring process, but also improved the overall cohesiveness of my character's appearances. The consistency of color choice across various elements of the character, from skin and hair to clothing and accessories, is crucial in creating a harmonious and appealing look. These strategies not only save time, but also enhance the overall quality and impact of my artwork. However, it's essential to remember that like any artistic endeavor, practice and experimentation are key. If all else fails, lock and load. Everything from the pens and brushes I use, to my textures, to my color palette sheet are available on my Patreon. So, you know, cop that shit. I don't know. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!